Hello there Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. And a question has come up on the forum of how can we control something like sends um, using CV. And as you can see, I've obviously got some kind of automation going on here. And that automation is actually been controlled by this LFO down here. Quite straightforward, I use the LFO, I go to my MIDI out and I use a simple loop back. Um, I've got many um, videos up on my channel, especially a beginner's guide to using the EMI. I know this is now called the MIDI out device, but obviously that EMI de uh, device was around for many, many years. And I've been using loopback for absolutely years. And we just come round and back into Reason and we can control that. So let's very, very, very quickly set another one up. So uh, at the back of uh, little LFO down here, whoops, my Zoom program going out of control. I'm going to take this feed this time. Let's put that into my scope so we can see the result. And I'm going to take this one and put this one into CV number two. So if we switch around to the front. You can see I've got this like stepping kind of LFO going on here. We're sending that out and we're sending that out on CC5. So what I'm going to do up here is let's uh, right click, go edit automation. So let's see if we can zoom in a bit and I've got to choose my MIDI loopback port, so that's my MIDI loopback, and we're talking on CC5. You may notice I've removed um, Learn from Control Surface Input turned off. If I leave that on because I've got my other LFO going, it more likely will pick up on that one as well, so it'll be switching between CC01 and 05, and it can make it hard to actually grab. And as you can see, we've now got some stepping going on up here. It's just going up in the step mode which corresponds with this. Now there's a big bonus, obviously, by doing it this way as well. There's nothing stopping me. Um, obviously, we can go edit automation. I can hit my record button. And as you can see down here, we are now recording that CV data, um, which obviously we can play back now as a standard automation. But one of the other ways I, I get like CV data back in if I want to do something else a bit funny with it, is I'll actually assign these to something like the CV8X4 or um, another knob or something. <laughs> and then you can use that knob going back via another loopback to control other things if you if you need to. But as I say, by using the loopback, we can actually also control, um, sorry, we can also record what we're controlling via CV. Anyway, that's it. Nice quick one. As I say, other videos up on my channel to do with the loopback, so you can obviously look it up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.